Hey friends, welcome to today's video. My name's Stephanie and today I'm gonna be showing you some of my favorite polishes to wear for Halloween. So normally when I do my favorites videos, they're either centered around like the seasons or favorite finishes or favorite colors, but never really around like specific holidays. And I definitely wouldn't consider myself one of those hardcore Halloween girlies that, you know, is all about spooky season, but I do love a good Halloween kind of polish or spooky nail art. It's just so fun to me. So I wanted to show some polishes that I've had in my collection. Some of these are older, so they're not around anymore because they're either from like these small batch indie releases or they're from Polish Pickup, which, you know, is limited edition and monthly and all of that stuff. As always, I will have everything kind of like notated in the swatches and in the description box that they're either from Polish Pickup or they have a coffin so that you know that they're unfortunately not around anymore. But I hope you enjoy them either way. So let's just get into my favorites. So obviously the first polish we have is Island Peas Hex, which came out in last year's Trapped Collection for Halloween. And this is described as a deep, rich black jelly base with orange iridescent flakies. And those flakies kind of glow and shift to yellow and green, maybe some pops of red or magenta. So, so beautiful. I think this polish is just the epitome of like Halloween kind of shades. I mean, you can't get more spooky than orange and black. So <laughs> this is just so, so perfect. This has a lovely formula, perfectly opaque on me in two coats. Maybe if your nails were longer, you might need a third because it is a jelly base, but it's black, so it builds up really easily. Yeah, I cannot recommend this one enough. And my other favorite from that same collection is Hallucinate. And this is a rich indigo jelly base that is absolutely packed with this radiant color shifting red shimmer. Honestly, this really looks like a dupe to me to that one super popular unicorn pea polish. I think it was like Clarins 230 or something. I shared a comparison last year on my stories and they look nearly identical. So if you've been on the hunt for that one, check out this shade. But yeah, I absolutely loved this shade when it came out last year. I don't know, there's just something so classic about purple nails for Halloween. And you might know by now, I am just such a sucker for a good red shimmer. There's just, I don't know, something so alluring and mystical about it. It's giving total witchy vibes. Next, I have Island Peas Pumpkin Patch, and this came out in last year's Fall Harvest collection. So this wasn't really a part of a Halloween release necessarily, but I just think this orange is so perfect for that pumpkin kind of color. I just think it's so beautiful as a base, especially to paint on little jack-o'-lantern faces. It is just so, so fun. This one is a little bit sheer on the first coat, but still has really great coverage with how even it is and having a great distribution of all those little micro flakes. So I get it perfectly opaque in two coats. And yes, I already have talked in several of my recent videos about how amazing the Harvest Collection was, but this is another shade that I'm just especially excited to wear this spooky season. Another orange I absolutely love for the season is Hollow Taco's Xyler the Cat. And I'm so happy that this one finally has been restocked. I feel like it's been out of stock for so, so long now. So hopefully you were able to grab this shade when it came back. But this is a silver and copper hollow glitter in a deep orange tinted base. So I switched out my brush for one of the wide brushes. So that definitely helps with getting much more easy even coverage and it's not as finicky, but this is a chunky micro glitter. So it is gonna be a little finicky either way. You'll just definitely have a much harder time with a skinny brush in my opinion. I think my bottle also needs a little bit of thinner, so don't mind that too much. But yeah, this one is just such a cute shade for Halloween. I just love a good sparkly orange if you couldn't tell. And I just love how fun this one is. So like I mentioned, I love a good shimmery purple for Halloween, but 
As far as creams go, this is the only one that I need in my collection. This is Holo Taco's Resting Witch Face, which came out last year, and it's a vivid, cool-toned purple. There is something just so satisfying about this specific shade of purple. I just don't have anything like it in my collection. I'm not really a huge purple polish lover. Like, I have some, but... I don't know, this one is just so unique to me. It is so stunning and really like the true Halloween purple of my dreams. So I normally love a nice bright slime green for Halloween, which we'll get to in a bit, but this deeper one is so satisfying to me. This is Holo Taco's Wicked Potion, which the name alone is already so good. It just evokes the witchcraft kind of vibes but this shade really reminds me of being a witch in the middle of a swamp and making potions out of mushrooms or whatever you make potions out of i don't practice witchcraft so you'll have to excuse my lack of knowledge but <laughs> i just love this shade so much it just has a dark green base with a brighter green shimmer and then these hollow flakies outside of that so I also had to include Holo Taco's Bat Bitch from the recent Sophia collection. I have the little coffin next to it because at this moment it should be restocked one more time, but just in case, depending on when you watch this, it might be unavailable. So this is one of those limited edition polishes but yeah anyway this one is a black pearlescent formula with a delicate blue shimmer and in my initial review i said i don't agree with the pearlescent description because it's not breaststrokey and streaky like typical pearls so i would just consider this like a shimmer polish and i absolutely love it it is just a cool edgy version of a black polish i think it's just so fun so getting into my moon cats, the first one I have is Highway Glow, and this is described as a vibrant chartreuse cream, which I don't know if I would agree with because I'm usually not a fan of chartreuse, but I really love this color. I would just call it more of like a true lime green. It's not as yellowy as other chartreuse shades, you know? But either way, this is my favorite when it comes to those like slime green shades. Like I love using them for little slime tips or even just paired with some of the other shades like a black or the purple like resting witch face. It's just immediate Halloween vibes with these kinds of colors and I'm just such a big fan. Obviously not a big fan of the skinny brush but if you get the current Mooncat packaging you won't have to deal with that. This next one, I am actually so excited for it. This is Pomegranate Seeds, which came out in the somewhat recent Underworld collection a couple of months ago. Honestly, that whole collection, amazing for this time of year. But when this one came out, I just wasn't really feeling it that much, but I've changed my mind. I think it is so perfect for spooky season. This is a reddish purple jelly base filled with blue shimmer and this color shifting orange to pink iridescent flaky. And it is just so stunning. I love the contrast of these flakies against that purple base the blue shimmer is definitely super strong especially with having two lights on it right now but in indirect lighting it looks so cool and speaking of the underworld collection of course i had to include mooncat's gates of hell this came out in the middle of summer but it immediately became a favorite and i knew i was gonna love it so much for this time of year it's either a great halloween shade i mean obviously like fall all around but at least you know in my mind the way i categorize things it's perfect for halloween and also scorpio season <laughs> especially with the name it is just so cool i just cannot recommend this one enough it's easily one of my top favorite moon cats of all time crazy probably because it's so dark and so unlike my usual taste and compared to other moon cat favorites but this is a really deep burgundy blackened base that has this super gorgeous red multi-chrome shimmer and then these little hollow sparkles it is stunning 
Next we have another black, but this one is a magnetic and it's also called Apparition which is so perfect so <laughs> i had to include this one this is a black magnetic lacquer that has a silver magnetic shimmer and there's also this like blue sort of shimmer outside of it it's kind of subtle and you get like pops of blue here and there it's not that strong you definitely get more of like a monotone silver and black kind of vibe from this polish but it just is so pretty so so cool again if you want just black nails but with a twist having this silver magnetic shimmer is just so fun especially once it starts to diffuse and it's not as crisp because it just adds to that very ghostly kind of ethereal vibe if that makes sense so yeah, I'm showing it here with the cat eye. It definitely looks cool enough to me on the two coats here. And here it is also on its own on the left and then with the velvet effect, which I didn't do that great of a job this time around, but it still just has a really cool multi-dimensional feel to it, even though it's very monochromatic. Moving on to some of my Cirque polishes, the first one I have is NSFW Jelly, and this came out way back in January. This one is just a black jelly polish, and I have been waiting to wear it because obviously I'm not going to wear this shade in like late winter, early spring. I think it's just so perfect for this time of year though and i have hopes for it i just keep struggling with the application <laughs> it, this one is definitely very sheer compared to a lot of other cirque jellies so it's kind of hard to build it up to the opacity that i want and i'm also kind of struggling with application where it's not super even but once you get to three coats it starts to look better i just need to be a little bit more patient i think with the application of this one or i might just add in a drop or two of memento mori just to deepen it a little bit either way i'm excited for black jelly nails for halloween next i have cirque's dove jelly and this is a gray jelly polish that's a little bit warm i don't think i would call this like a true neutral gray there's just a touch of warmth to it but i definitely don't mind that i think it looks super flattering especially once it is built up to be fuller coverage but it didn't look too bad on the first coat it just kind of like brightened my nail i hadn't worn this one in a while so i actually kind of like the look of it on one coat but yeah normally i like wearing this built up to be either opaque ish on three coats and then layering like black spider webs on top especially with like a black reflective glitter i think it's just such a fun contrast but this would also be another great polish to do some layering like a pond mani a couple of years ago i recreated this look that larissa from polish lab rat did where she did a pond mani but with spiders so it was just so so cool so i definitely want to try that again and of course, I had to include Cirque's Bitten Jelly, which came out in the same collection as NSFW earlier this year. And this is a deep magenta red jelly. So even though I kind of wish this shade looked more like how it does in the bottle, where it's a lot deeper and vampier, I still really love this magenta color because it still feels appropriate for Halloween. I mean, obviously the main reason for picking this one was the name, <laughs> but in combination with the color, I feel like it's just a fun pop of color for this time of year. This is another one that I think would be so fun for for a pond mani or just like layering some glitters, doing a glitter sandwich. I just think this color is so gorgeous. So I can't wait to show it some love. And yeah, this one is definitely on the true jelly side where even on three coats, you can still see straight through to my nail line. And my last favorite Cirque polish for Halloween is Very Valentino, which is not a Halloween shade at all. This was actually a limited edition do-good polish that supported Animal Haven. So I 
don't think this one is around anymore. I think they brought it back last year, but I'm pretty sure it's sold out again because this is probably one of their most popular Do Good shades. This is a deep reddish purple leaning base color with a multi-chrome shimmer that shifts from a bright bluish purple to red in extreme angles, which I'll show in a bit. This is just one of those shades that I think gives me total witchy vibes with that purple and the red. I just really love this combination for this time of year. I used it as a base for this little spiderweb cuticle design and it just was so, so cool. I did not want to take this off. So here it is with the adjusted lighting so you could see that gorgeous red shimmer. It just is so magical. Up next I have KB Shimmers After Midnight and this is basically a black polish filled with silver reflective glitters. And this one is definitely on the thick side, at least mine is, I could use some thinner in it, but it's perfectly opaque in one coat alone so I'm a little bit more forgiving of it but this one is just so beautiful i'm just such a sucker for reflective polishes and this just gives me spooky but glam kind of vibes i just love the way it twinkles even without flash but obviously with flash it's even more blinding and twinkly but yeah even if i don't do a full mani with this one i think using this in place of black accents is so fun one of my absolute favorite polishes for Halloween and it's probably like the main inspiration for this video is polishes, scarves, and sweaters. And this came out way back in 2016. So you likely won't find it even in a D stash probably. I mean, I would hope so because it's gorgeous, but this is a super deep oxblood red jelly that is just so dark and vampy. And it really is like, that kind of perfect blood red color i feel kind of weird talking about it because i, I don't want to like you know glorify violence or anything like that but at least when it's related to halloween and kind of like the typical blood splatter type of mani this is like the perfect shade for that because obviously built up on its own it is super super dark you can barely tell that it's red but when you do the blood splatter where there's like some darker spots and some lighter spots it just really gives such a cool effect so I rarely wear glitter toppers these days, but one that I really love for spooky season is Noodles Nail Polish, Whose Side Are You On? <laughs> Which I just love the name, first of all, because I'm a big cider fan. But this is a really pretty micro holographic glitter mix with orange and magenta and purple glitters. There might be some other like, you know, gold or black ones too, but it's just so, so pretty. So here it is on its own over a sheer pink base but i especially love wearing it over darker colors especially like the deep vampy purples it just provides such a beautiful contrast with those orange and magenta glitters and so here it is over the last shade that i swatched as well as hollow taco's resting witch face which is a much brighter purple but still offers great contrast so unfortunately this is an older noodles nail polish but she has one in her shop right now that's really similar called Fall Babe. And continuing on with polishes that are just older in my collection, we have Noodles Nail Polish Straight Out of Salem, which was this polish pickup contribution a couple of years ago. And it just was one of my immediate favorites. As you probably know, if you watched my favorite Crullies video, I love Noodles Nail Polish, just one of my favorite indie brands, especially for this Crully type of finish with these micro glitters. And this one, I feel like was just so, so good. It's this really dark and dusty teal blue base that's packed with these orange and gold and black glitters. It's just so spooky and so unique for this time of year. Another oldie for my collection is Illyrian Secrets. And this is a dark plum red jelly base with blue iridescent glitters that shift to aqua. And there's a sprinkle of pink shifty flecks. 
which are basically like micro shimmers but it's very very sparse and not like your typical shimmer formula you'll see what i mean once it's built up to be fully opaque obviously here it's very sheer but you can tell by the color it really has like such a berry kind of tone that just immediately reminds me of jam in the best way possible it's just so so yummy but i love how this one builds up it really deepens up a lot on two coats but i'm going to be showing it in three where it's more opaque and it just has such a beautiful contrast that you know i'm such a sucker for especially when it's like a really deep plummy kind of base and then having these bright iridescent sort of glitters they just are so so pretty and depending on the lighting or the angle that you're looking at it the glitters kind of hide and then show and glow it is just so so pretty and hopefully here too you can see that scattered pink fleck it is just such a beautiful little detail i wish more polishes look like this Next, I have Cadillacers Eerie, which is from Polish Pickup a couple of years ago. And this was, I believe, my very first thermal because I am not really one for thermal polishes. But seeing this one and the inspo photo, I was like, oh my God, they nailed it. I just need it so badly. <laughs> so this one I know looks like Island Peas Hex especially here in its cold state where it's just a black jelly base that's packed with these glowing orange iridescent flakies but like i mentioned this is a thermal so when it is in its warm state it actually changes to this really beautiful turquoise kind of color and it is just so so cool so granted mine i think is a little bit faded or i was just running cold so you can kind of see the base color is starting to darken a bit but it just is so beautiful so spooky and unique with this color combination and honestly i'm so happy that it still transitions after several years I just have two more polish pickup shades and they're both from the same brand painted polish this first one is honey duke's haunt which was from a few years ago this is a gray crelly base that has these green blue and gold color shifting or multi-chrome kind of flakies and I just think this is so beautiful. It's not really a finish I would go for like I mean I love flakies and I love crellies but with multi-chrome flakies like they're not really my favorite but this color shift specifically is just super satisfying to me especially against the gray base i think it's just so pretty kind of like a palette cleanser in a way i'm not quite sure but i just find the shade so enchanting and lastly, I have painted polishes, The Witch's Back, which is from last year's September polish pickup. And this is a super vampy wine red jelly base that is packed with these little micro glitters and gold reflective glitters. But I'll talk about those reflective glitters in a bit. So this one is just another sort of deep vampy sexy kind of shade that i love for this time of year i'm pretty sure this is what i wore on halloween last year because i didn't have time to do a cute little design or anything but honestly i was not upset because this shade is just so so good you know i'm such a sucker for these deep vampy kind of blood red shades and this one is just so gorgeous. It builds up to be fully opaque in two coats and it has such a beautiful sparkle just from the little holographic glitters. But obviously the reflective glitters are really pretty too. They're definitely not as in your face though. Like the bottle is so obnoxious looking with the gold, but you kind of lose that in the jelly base. And finally, here are the collages, starting with the blacks. I think they are just so gorgeous. I love the sparkle and all the spooky vibes from them. So, so fun. And here are my favorites. I think the purples, especially those shimmery special effects ones, they are just so, so good. But I still really love the cream and the jellies. And then lastly, here are my oranges and greens and teals, kind of miscellaneous shades that I don't reach for as often, but I still would consider absolute staples for this time of year.
So that wraps up my favorite shades to wear for Halloween. So as always, I would love to know what you think of my picks. Obviously they're very like dark and expected colors like with the black and purple and obviously some oranges and greens but i want to know what shades you love to wear if there are like specific colors especially that are i guess more centered around halloween like polish pickup specific shades or other indie brands that have their halloween specific collections you know what i mean i feel like those are just obviously the best <laughs> because they're definitely made with the intention of being worn during spooky season. But I feel like there's so many shades that can just work so well for this time of year. I mean, Mooncat Gates of Hell is just my new favorite thing. I don't know if it's crazy to say that this is like a new, like top favorite Mooncat shade because it's just so unlike me, you know, but this is just such a stunning color and it just feels so dark and powerful and sexy and just words that I normally don't associate myself with. <laughs> and I just love indulging and embracing those words, you know? So I am feeling it so much right now. But yeah, anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I can't wait to hear what you think about these shades or just spooky season in general. If you're one of those like hardcore fans or just, you know, someone more like casual, but you still love a good, pumpkin orange or like a witchy purple or slime green or whatever. <laughs> Let me know where you land on that spectrum. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope that you're interested in seeing a cute little spooky nail art compilation video because that's what I'm working on for next week using some of these shades. So leave me a like if you are excited for that or just leave me any and all thoughts you have down below so we can chat about it. But thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.